Hello my little sugar boogers and welcome back to part number 42. Are we seriously in 42? I felt like it was like 43 or something. Um, let's play the Lux Life. So our deliciosa uh, Miss Faye here is on her third trimester. So she should literally be giving birth at any moment now. It is time. I can't wait actually. I'm very, very freaking excited. Um, I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know what exactly, you know, is going to come of this situation. But honestly, this chick, she is looking pretty damn ginormous, like a little beetle, like a little, little plum beetle. Did she seriously just piss herself? Okay, I was like, girl, you are like two seconds away from that toilet. I mean, I know you're big, but there ain't no reason uh, or excuses to not be able to pull your pants down. Um, Hank wants to go out on a date with Faye. Um, he has decided to kind of let go of, you know, any past resentment that he has had. And I feel like that, you know, in a way it's good. Honestly, it's, it's actually really, 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 really good that, um, is this our mom? Carly Vector? <gasps> Carly's old now. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my goodness. She's getting older. Who's this handsome guy? Anyways, I don't know. I think it's good that, you know, Faye's pregnant. It's actually, you know, teaching people how to like let a lot of crap go uh, and how to love each other and accept each other for, you know, what we are. And I don't know. I just think Hank wants to be there. Um, oh my God, they were flirting with each other. I totally just caught them. Disgusting. Like I said, she's trying to keep up appearances and, and Hank's like, you don't need to do that. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what he's trying to improve, uh, improve, prove. I don't know what he's trying to prove. I think he wants to try to woe her and woo her and show her that, you know, <laughs> Gentlemen do exist. They do. And it's not just in fairy tales and happy endings. So we'll see what happens. Uh, if we get off on time today, we definitely should go. Uh, well, we won't. But it'll be like later tonight, I think. Right? Because he gets off early or later. I can't really remember what time he gets off. I think it's like at 9 or something. It's He works some crazy freaking hours. Uh, he It's Tuesday. Shoot. So he actually works tonight. Um but he gets off at 9. So, I mean, even if we don't go on a date, like, we could go to, like, a nice little park or something. I have the perfect place, actually, that we could go to. So, right now, what I'm trying to do is focus on work. Faye has got her head every which way. Right now, she can't even... She can't even focus because she's feeling so, like, captivated by the thoughts of Hank. And as you can see, she wants to actually compliment him. And so someone had actually mentioned that they, they thought that maybe Faye was trying a little a little too hard, um, you know, to love him. And maybe for only for the sake of, of the child. And I get it, you know, it may seem that way, but she's starting to fall for this guy. And she feels like it's too soon. But I recently heard a quote, and I repeat, um, there is no time limit of when the heart moves on. The heart what's, wants what it wants. And something of that sort. It actually was a lot more freaking poetic than the way that I'm saying it now. But it made a lot of sense. You know, the heart wants what it wants. And freaking Faye is going into labor <laughs> right now, you guys. It is happening. It's happening. She is at work trying to take care of, oh my God, she's trying to, what do you do when you go to labor and you work at the doctor's office? She's trying to take care of the freaking, uh, oh my God, she's trying to take care of these kids and she's in labor. Like she needs to be admitted to the damn freaking table so do we go home what do we do what do we do do we continue working while we're in labor I don't exactly get it I'm gonna try to get her to continue working through this labor um if she can this is so hard for her could you imagine taking care of people when you're having freaking contractions like what do you do I've never had this happen before so I don't even know like what exactly is the the freaking protocol I don't know. She kind of can't quit work right now. She's got to handle all of her crap. I'm trying to, to greet these three Sims that we don't really know, but obviously it's not really working out too well. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get a patient swab sample. I'm just going to focus as much as I possibly can on work. And if she does end up giving birth right here, I don't know what exactly 
is going to be become of it. But like I said, we're just gonna. She's she can't focus on work right now. Oh my god, why is she struggling so hard to get these samples from the patients? Have you guys noticed that lately? Like she's just. I think it's because she's pregnant, and there is such thing as um. Okay, well we haven't even done anything at work today. Is she glowing? Oh no, it's just her work. Okay. There is such thing as like pregnancy or prego brain or something like that where basically you get extremely, extremely like clumsy when you're, you know, pretty pregnant. And I know, girlfriend, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know this hurts so freaking bad. Like, can you help me deliver? I don't want you to feel the baby. I want you to, oh my God, I'm going to piss myself. What? This is, I got to go home. I'm sorry. I have to, yeah, I have to, I have to leave work early. I'm sorry. I can't. I, I got $20. That's it. We got to get her home, you guys. She is literally about to pop, burst, and explode all in one. I want to get freaking Hank over here as soon as possible. Um, He's going to come over. We're going to put him into our household or inventory, whatever. He is going to temporarily come over. Uh, if we can, if we can. And support her, you know, and stay the night and stuff. Because he wants to be there for the baby and... and you know, she she agrees. So like once he's finished or whatever, we'll go move back in. We'll go back to his house. But we're gonna play it like this. So, oh my God, look at how cute she looks. Oh, where's my man? Where's my boy boy? I don't know, you guys. This is one hell of a story. Look at Kyle's old now. Oh my God, everybody's so old. Unplayed households. I have most certainly played Mr. Hank. Okay. All right. Where the hell is he? Why am I, like, having eye issues? I can't tell. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> All right. So transfer sims between households. All right. We shall. Um, where does she live? Uh, so much for the date. Right, guys? So much for the date. That did not happen. So, okay. So we're going to go over here, and we are going to just... If all the items are transferred to the household, blah, 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 will be sold. Okay. We're just going to sell all the furnishings and then we'll have him go back to his home and whatever. I can't even really remember how much she had, so I'll have to go and, and look before, you know, next part. But all right, guys, let's go ahead. And uh, he's like, hey, 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 it's Hank. Hanky Panky the Christmas Poe. No, okay, really, though. No. Let's, like, get it together, girl. Let's get it together. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know. What's the rest of it? Something believe it's not so. I don't know the worst. Uh, the worst. I don't know the rest. I don't know. All right. Oh God. Chill you. Chill your tits, Hank. Chill him. We're gonna take a picture so we can go ahead and add this to our memoirs later. Uh, I'm gonna have him come over here. He's sad. <gasps> oh, because somebody forgot his birthday. Are you an adult now? Oh, he is. You guys, look at him. He's so sexy. He's so cute. All right, so I'm going to see if I can feel the baby. She's probably going to punch him in the face, like right in the nads. Like, you did this to me. Okay, look, she looks so cute with her. Oh, my God. That was, like, not Chris creepy at all. Okay. Oh, my God. We definitely need to take a picture of this moment here where we are giving birth pretty much. And uh, I'll have to put that in his memories later. This is, like, such a special moment. Okay, so can we go ahead and take her to the hospital? Let's go and do that. Yeah. Have baby a hospital. Okay. So we are definitely going to join her. And we are going to bring, Mr. bring Mr. Hank Kipu. And uh, obviously he's going to sleep in the same room with Faye. But <laughs> I'm excited. I got to start pulling up uh, baby names so I know what to name this little one. Uh, let's go ahead and take a peek. I'm so excited, you guys. You've been waiting for this moment. It is not 42. I lied. Oh, listen. Uh. 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 Oh, that's my intro. <laughs> it's like some serious stripper music. Oh, my God, girl. I could see a butt crack. But your husband. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Your, your boo-boo. He looked so cute with his little, like, shiny freaking red shorts. Okay. So, let's go see what we have here. Um. Okay. Uh, Kiara reminds me of Kiana a lot, but let's go keep looking. All right, let's go. I don't even know what it is, but I'm just like, I got it ready. I got it ready. Okay, so Faye, 
left early for work and had to come back to work to deliver her child, which I feel like it's so much more popping than it is normally. Where are you going, honey? Oh, she's just going straight to, she can't even wait to check in. She's like, I just got it. Oh my God, our ex-husband's here. How freaking, is he, and he's freaking out about us having a baby. Oh my God, Zane, keep it cool, dude. Keep it cool, Zane. I mean, uh, Hank, uh, keep it cool. Okay, tell him to go away. Tell him to go away. He has no reason to be seeing your wife or girl or whatever. Yeah, you crazily run at this man. Crazily go. Man, you go. Tell him to get out of your face. Oh, yeah. That's right. You're not welcome here. Nobody wants you. Let's see if we can get a picture of her in the... Oh, my God. Look at that. He's like, really, dude? Really? Like, right outside of the freaking waiting room how perfect is that basically what freaking hank is telling zane is dude you're not welcome here okay this looks like a butthole anyway <laughs> you're not welcome here she doesn't want you here she doesn't need you here i'm here now i'm her man mm -mm -mm. i've taken care of her mm. best way that no man can that's right zane bailey you need to take a hike dude because it is levels okay levels to this Okay, goodbye. Oh, he's like giving him the death stare. Look at him. You know he mean business. How could you not? This is perfect. Like, seriously, dude, go away. You're making my nip knops hard. All right, look at poor freaking. Oh, she's like, she's about to give birth and they're arguing. I have to really take pictures of all this because this is like drama. This is so perfect. I couldn't have expected it to happen any other way. All right, so I'm going to have Hank go over here. And uh, hopefully Zane won't come in. Because I might have to kick his... Really, dude? Really? Are you freaking serious? You don't listen. You know what? I'm not going to do this right now. But, like, I love how he's, like, looking at me. And I'm, I'm like, in my freaking swimwear as all this is, like, happening. But he's going to get his butt beat seven ways to Sunday if he keeps it up. I'm dead serious. Oh, my God. We should probably take a picture of... Um, Faye, because that's like the most important, important thing right now. All right. Let's go ahead and see. Oh my God. What did you take out her heart? Well, at least we know she does have one. Let's just toss that back in there really quick. <laughs> oh my God. That's so sad. This is the making of a little plum bob. I just don't understand why he's freaking out. Like he's, oh my God, dude, get back in there. What are you doing? Even he has a fucking, I mean, I'm, I'm a, whoa girl. It's, it's starting to, it's starting to go. It's starting to go. I'm about to start swinging. <gasps> it's a girl. Oh, my God. It is. We should call her Hankinetta. Uh, it is a girl. It is a girl. It is a girl. Oh, my God. Okay, so baby names for a little lady. I think I really like Sophia. I don't know. I just do. I think Sophia is gorgeous for her. So, so Sophia Berman. <gasps> oh, my God. Are you serious? Get out of here. Oh my god, we have twin girls. I'm gonna freaking shit my pants. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm like swearing up a freaking. Um, oh my god, I'm like sweating. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Lindy. Yes, Lindy. Okay. So who suggested Sophia was Lu. I think her name is Lucia or Lucia Jane. And then um, it appears that Lizzie Sims uh, has suggested uh, Lindy. Oh my God, I'm like screaming so loud. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have, okay, so we have Sophia and Lindy. That's really great. I'm so excited. What the heck? Huh? What? No, I don't want triplets. Are you freaking serious? Are you freaking joking me? That is what the pregnancy cheats for. Like if I wanted them, I would have done it. I don't want, no, 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 no. Take it back. Take it back. Oh, my God. Are you freaking joking me, you guys? I don't even know how the hell she's going to freaking focus. Like, twins cute. <laughs> I'm all excited. Freaking give me triplets. I want to punch myself in the eyeball. Bottom line. All right. We're going to go ahead and name this one Hank Jr. All righty. Well, I'm excited about the twin girls. That's exciting. I feel like my mom's home, but I'm not sure. But I'm also really excited about Hank Jr. I just wish I could have picked, like, one or the other. So, anyways... It appears that we have freaking triplets, you guys. Triple 
Let's triple play, so it's called. We have three babies. Oh my gosh. Now with this said, how is freaking Faye ever, and I mean ever, going to be able to like handle that all by herself? Do you get what I'm saying? Oh my God, she looks so flippin' beautiful right now. I'm just curious, like how is she ever going to be able to handle that? That is... That is crazy. And Hank, yeah, I would start screaming too, dude. Oh, my God. There they are. And look, we've got Hank Jr. outside. He's he's just kicking it. Oh, my God. So we have Lindy and we have Sophia and we have Hank Jr. Oh, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below how do you feel about the triplets. And this is kind of a huge game changer. I mean, he's only staying, you know, he's kind of put you know put his house you know not really on the market actually he hasn't really sold it but he is just kind of waiting to see what happens and he's kind of just with us right now and it's really 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 hard to be able to say what's gonna happen I don't even think we have rooms for all these children no we don't we need like a new house like they're literally all crammed into this one little bedroom and I'm pretty sure Hank wouldn't mind giving us some money actually you know what we could just turn the garage into something I, I was thinking about that like uh it's gonna have to be like a nursery right now I'm gonna have to just put this put them all in one room because I seriously can't even imagine having to like go between them all do you get what I'm saying so we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna make it kind of like a unisex room it's like seriously not gonna even be all that impressive or anything but until we can figure out what we're gonna do just with our life in, in general um it's kind of a it's kind of a tough situation i just wasn't expecting all that and honestly if i wanted it i would have done it on purpose but i don't know why she would have gotten triplets like well no it actually does run in her blood it does because uh kyle had triplets and um yeah i mean i don't really care because that's kyle but anyway i'm actually just gonna go ahead and kind of add in some of these uh bigger windows to the to the nursery so then that way you know it kind of just brightens it up a little bit and we're not so do you get what I mean we're not so like closed in and dark and stuff which I think is also a really nice little touch because let's be realistic here these kids don't want to be in the dark but that's kind of what that looks like and it's supposed to be a garage so what the hell is that is that a closet <laughs> yeah it is okay so we've got that and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a door just any sort of door all these doors are the same all right well I guess then it's gonna be the pure expressions with the frost glass all right so this is our little nursery we just need to go get the little ones and bring them on downtown I think this is all the stuff from Hank's house but then again it could be from any house so I want to see if I can I can't put them in inventory so I have to carry them one by one and bringing them down here holy guacamole I just can't even believe we have freaking triplets. I'm telling you, there's something. Something in the water with this family. <laughs> Never, ever, ever can it be just normal. It has to be. It has to be. Like, when I named this the Lux Life, little did, little did, I know. It was going to be like this. But we have, um, we're just going to put the little ones just kind of in a row right now. And uh, these freaking little gremlins are screaming. And I am going to probably put a bed down here and the reason for that right now you guys honestly is because I can truly imagine it's gonna be freaking chaos like chaos 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 having to go up and up and down the stairs so although this doesn't look cute and it isn't supposed to once they're a little bit older and we get like an idea of where the hell we're even gonna go what we're gonna do then we can um kind of figure it out so I'm gonna put in these lights here I guess I could try to make this a little more happy it's kind of scary looking so let's go and look for some wallpapers or anything that we can just kind of brighten this little nursery up with um you know I'm not really feeling any of this stuff but we can do some see all of it's just like it's like one way or the other I mean yellow kind of is universal yellow obviously it can be anybody's color but uh we'll do that and then we're just gonna do like this right here very standard very basic but um there's nothing standard or basic about having freaking triplets. Ah! 
<laughs> I can't even process it, you guys. Like, these ones go all the way to the floor. They do. I like the ones that go to the floor. Not only do they just look nicer. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really, like, loving the way that this looks right now, but it's better than having nothing on the walls, I think, anyway. Let's see if we can just make this like that. That's actually not too bad. Uh, I don't like the color of the walls, though. That's just not gonna work for me. I have no idea what we're gonna do. I'm still, like, freaking out about it, you guys. It's kind of crazy right now, but we all right. We'll be all right. As the last part titled, we will be all right. Um, I'm gonna just put... Do we got, like, yellow in this one? Like a canary or something? I don't really know. Yellow is just not... Ugh, it's just not doing it for me. Uh, I need something a little bit... Wow, this is hard, Jen. What about this guy? I, I like... You know what? Screw it. I like this freaking purple color. I'm taking it. I'm leaving it. It's keeping it. Uh, let's just put a rug on the floor so then that way we can actually look like we tried a little bit. And we'll go from there, you guys. I'm not going to stress myself out about what a room looks like too much, but I think it looks pretty cute, actually. I just want to... <laughs> I'm not going to stress myself as she grabs more stuff to put in here. Uh, but, yeah, I just... I don't know. I kind of want to, like, have it look somewhat cute like I tried. But then again, like I said, it, things are going to be subjective, subjected to change. So we'll just leave the damn things. But can you guys believe that we have these little beautiful children's and Hank's gonna go over here and he's gonna cuddle each one of his little babies and I can't wait to see what the triplets are gonna look like uh once they're older and Hank's still yeah he's still freaking out he's so excited he is so so excited and uh she's gonna come in here and kind of like observe him you know just like watching watching him and kind of observing his his movements and how in tuned he is with the babies and how beautiful it is. How beautiful it is to have this this family, even though, to be honest with you, <laughs> she never expected this. She never expected a night of drinking and trying to, are you trying to breastfeed him? Uh, try, drinking and trying to, like, you know, drown her sorrows would, would lead into something so just extravagant and beautiful. It's just, it's kind of crazy. And I think it's it's awesome. I really, 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 really do. I would love to see the Lux life end on a beautiful note. And even though there's been so many ups and downs in this part, I feel like this part has had a lot of sense. Uh, this whole entire LP has had a lot of sentimental meaning to me that even, even the good girls are bad sometimes. And even though things happen, you can lose yourself. You can always find yourself again and, and something even more better. So I'm going to have them just kind of hang out and enjoy enjoy their company, enjoy their time together, and just be a family. It's weird. It's weird, you guys. It's weird. You know? And she's, and she's, getting, and she's getting moved. She's literally getting moved by, by seeing him interact with, with their babies. So let's go check out the family tree and, and give that a look and see what that looks like these days. Uh, so it, it does appear that Carly is getting older and we're going to have to spend more time with her. She's definitely, you know, she's getting there. Uh, Cora is, um, you know, still in high school and Kalani is doing her business. Uh, I do think that David and Carrera are still together. Uh, even Muggsy's older and Muggsy's like seriously such a schmuck. He's had no part of these girls' lives whatsoever, but... That's okay. Um, I'm not sure where he's going these days, but I am gonna come over here and kind of give him a base shot and uh, try to try to love on him a little bit. Where's he going? Is he going to work? No. Okay. Well, you're not gonna go to work right now. She wants to give you a kiss. Go and give your that man a kiss. Any man that would freaking see triplets would run, you know. And it's just beautiful. Oh, she's thinking about wedding rings, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Could it Could it be? Could it be so that she doesn't want him to go? What if this is the moment she has fallen in love for him? Every time she just she she's around him, she's thinking such positive things. He's like, babe, I got to go to work. I'll be back when, when I'm off. Oh, you want me to stay? Of course she wants him to stay right now. So we're going to get him to go to work. And, uh, you know, she's just going to kind of swoon over him and bite her lip a little bit and get excited. 
this is cool, she says. This is awesome, you know? I want to see if Carrera wants to come over, and uh, I'm going to try to invite over my mom. I need to get on my lap to do that, apparently. So dark inside. I can barely freaking see what I'm doing. All right, so let me go and invite her over. I'm going to invite Muggsy because he's going to die soon. So I might as well have him be a part of their lives, I suppose. Jason. Okay, so Carly and... Um, so Carly's here. That's good. And Muggsy's busy, of course. Like, what else is new? He's <laughs> he's always busy. Uh, hopefully Carrera can come, but she's busy too. She's working, I'm sure. So that's okay. At least my mom gets to meet her grandbabies, right? It's always exciting. Gosh, she's... can't believe it, you guys. She's finally, finally old now. And what did she do for a job again? I know they owned Vector Enterprises, so they may not be working anymore. But what is... Car or what is... Faye want to do? She wants to freaking garden. This house is not going to be it for you much longer, boo-boo. If you're going to... Do you know what I mean? There's like not a lot of room or anything, but this freaking... I love how, like, how, like, suburban this place looks, you know what I mean, with the street and stuff, so I kind of want to, like, stay around here if possible, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, I'm just trying to have a conversation with my mom and, and talk to her and, you know, discuss some gourmet dishes and things like that. Discuss some cognitive ideas about focusing and all that jazz let's see hank gets off at nine so we'll have to we'll have to see him in a little bit and our babies are here i don't know if they need anything but i am gonna go and like kind of breastfeed them a little bit and uh keep their needs as well met as possible because i don't think i think i still have that issue the cheat or whatever um with like them not like, for the moods not registering in, in their little icons as properly as they could. So, we're just going to keep on top of it today. And hopefully, we will be good. So, yeah. I'm so excited. I am tripping out. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know. This is not how, like I said, I thought it was going to end. By any means. Not at all. Not like this. Where is Carly? Is she freaking pale? She's like, uh-uh. I got three grandbabies. I could barely handle one. You have, like, two grandchildren, though. Just saying. Um, I'm going to go upstairs, maybe, and, and see what I can do here. Uh, we need to treat two patients. Yeah, I should be getting a promotion, but, like, hopefully they aren't, you know, crucifying me for the fact that I... Uh, can I put this in here? Crucifying me for the fact that, you know, like, I couldn't work because I was pregnant. I don't know. What can I do with all this? Call Geo Council about sample. Send to Geo Council, I guess. Let's see what happens when we do that. This fa uh, sample has been s okay. This sample has been sent to the National Sim Geological Council for ele Element Isolation. Expect your isolated elements to be mailed. Oh, okay. So, what did I send? I sent a heavy metal. So maybe they'll be encapsulated like this, and I'll be able to like put them up there. Is that what that is? Oh, awesome. So I could probably do a couple of those and get them encapsulated. Oh, that is really freaking awesome. Cool. So do I have this one? Why isn't it letting me put it in there? I mean, it's interesting. Because it says I don't... Do I have this one? No. Maybe because it's like where it stands or something. Oh, I, I got it. No, I got it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why that's so hard for me, but I got it. Cool. All right, so we have something we could plant probably. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit though. Oh, my mom's right here. What's she going to do? She's going to swim. Or I'm going to swim laps. Oh, she's giving me a hug. That's so sweet. I guess I could go outside and like swim, turn on some music, listen to some, uh, we'll listen to some pop and, you know, maybe do, or actually no. I'm definitely going to do some easy, easy listening, and I'm going to do some practicing yoga. Definitely want Faye to, you know, do something she enjoys. And she absolutely is in love, love, love with yoga, even though she kind of sucks at it, to be honest. But this is Carly getting down with her bad self. <laughs> Wee, who are you, muscle boy? Who's this guy? Raul? Oh, he has got the chin that doesn't quit. It's actually kind of cute, though. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, let's go back over here and uh, continue working out a little bit. Now, we got a mood lit here, and it says 
proved posing practice makes perfect oh well great at least she came over for a little while and we got to like spend time with her and stuff so that was nice uh we can do different types of yoga routines i think i'm gonna do maybe a brain boosting one and then go upstairs and kind of like work a little bit on my uh, skills for work and stuff so i like it i like it i like how uh oh i guess it does work i think one of the baby poops one of the babies pooped the pants which one is it I can't tell. Okay, this one. This one pooped its pants. Okay. This one is Lindy. <laughs> I'm like, this one? I don't know, you know? I just kind of go by what, whatever. I just click on it now. I don't even know. I have to learn these babies' names, though, for sure. Because that's going to be pretty freaking pathetic. Um, Lindy, obviously Hank Jr., and then we have Sophia Berman. So, anyways, guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here. I hope you all enjoyed. It was certainly quite the invent. Uh, the eventful part so if you have any suggestions for what should happen next should hank stay should he make a move a chance maybe to possibly propose or should they just you know kind of co-parent and live in their separate spaces i don't know you guys be the judge all right guys thank you again so much for watching and don't forget to go and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where well, the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye